In today's video, I will show you how to add star rating to your collection items in Webflow in just four easy steps. You'll get something like this and you can customize it as you want. Plus, you get free resources available to download in the link in the description of this video. So just to give you a bit of background, I'm currently working on my personal website related to travel, something I'm really passionate about and you might see more content about it on my personal Instagram. So I'm working on this website and I was thinking how cool would it be if I were to add um, star rating for accommodations where I go and uh, I, you know, I review them. So the first thing that we want to do is go to our collection, open up accommodations in my case, because it's a travel related website. It's a personal project of mine. So I thought it would be nice to show you on an actual project that I'm working on. So I'm opening up accommodations uh, where I want to add a five star rating uh, system. So I want to review each accommodation from one to five, depending on how good they are. So in order to do that, I have to edit my collection to, to have that option. So I go to custom fields and select from here, I want number and you can see on the right side where it says kind of an FAQ, common uses, ratings, ranking, sorting value, uh, pricing and, and so on. So I go ahead and select number and for label, I'll set rating help text again if you want or not you can add it i'm just gonna leave it blank for now the minimum number i want that to be one and the maximum number i want it to be five you can go uh take it to the next level have 10 if you want rating up to 10 but for me five is enough so i'm just gonna leave it like that uh, format leave it as it is by default integer precision you can allow well you cannot allow negative numbers right you don't want negative rating and then the field is required that's up to you it's optional you can set it or not i'm just gonna leave it blank for now and i'm gonna save my so now that i have saved the field and with the rating you'll see it appears a, a new column uh, that we have created but unfortunately it doesn't have a value so i need to go one by one and add uh, a value these are just the default items that Webflow creates for you. So it's nothing really accurate in terms of details and uh, yeah, pictures and stuff. So I'm just uh, gonna go quickly and add anything. So for example, purposes. And let's add a five to the last one. I don't mean the one six really, uh, we want five. And there you go, we have ratings for all the accommodations. Um, for step number two, uh, I mentioned that we need a page layout created where we will populate the fields and all the details of this collection and we also add the rating. So I have this created here as a blog post template. I'm gonna copy and paste the page wrapper containing all the elements to my collection page. So I have the accommodations template open and I'm going to copy and paste that page wrapper containing all the elements. There are some bits here down that I do not need so I can get rid of them including this one. Uh, I still want the footer so I'm gonna leave it. Uh, let's also delete this bit. We just want to keep it simple for the example purposes and then obviously you can go as crazy as you want with your own um, with your own collection template. But for now, just for simplicity, I remove that. And the third step in our process is to link the collection items. So I'm just gonna link a few of them, get text from accommodations to display on the heading here. Well, actually, before we do that, let's co make a copy of it because we will use it to display the rating in that area. So. You can select here on the right side, get text from name. That's the name of our collection. It might be the accommodation name in our case, but again, just because it's a uh, blank, it's um, uh, some Laura Mipson that will not make much sense, but still, you know, you get the idea. So let's add rating here. And we might want a smaller, smaller size for it. So let's call it, I want to display a heading four maybe. 
that should do um, maybe we can add them maybe I can add it here eventually I can display the rating at the top or maybe below that's right I think here is fine um, we might even go with a smaller version heading 5 and the last bit I want to add 5 well not really the last bit the last bit will be the conditional values but for now I want to add the elements the star ratings which by the way you can find them available uh, in the link in the description so you can copy and paste them to your website I created a few variations for you so you can just go ahead and download them for free so let me just go quickly and copy what I need I already have them here so I will copy the rating wrapper containing the five stars images uh, and I'm gonna go back to my to my accommodations template go here and copy and paste the ratings now obviously you can go and stylize them a little bit better make it look nicer the alignment and so on uh, maybe you can place them on one row but the important thing for me now is that I have these five stars here and we can go ahead and link them to if you go to settings with the first star rating icon selected uh, and this is by the way the last step in our process is to set up the conditional visibility so I'll start by selecting the first rating icon going here to conditional visibility if, if you press on plus and you select your rating uh, your field with the rating number and we want to set conditions for each so for the first star I will select the condition is greater than one so if we have one uh, selected that rating will be displayed I'm gonna go and select the next one and go to rating again and we want to set this one is greater than two I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for all the stars cool now we have added them and you may have seen that the last one have disappeared and that's exactly what we want it took the number that the last one is not greater than five the, the last star uh, condition so that means it's going to be hidden now if I select another item from the collection you'll see that changes depending on the numbers that we have set uh, in our database or in the CMS collection so that's uh, exactly the way we want this to work and I hope you found this useful if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to subscribe to the channel like this video and let me know in the comments what would you like to see next would you like me to cover more Webflow videos because I know it's a powerful tool for designers and I use it a lot I can share some of my knowledge with you I'll be happy to do that I'll see you into the next video